hello guys now in this video we will talk about the docker architecture okay so this is also the one uh, very important concept in the docker series okay so let's start with the video without wasting time okay so for the docker architecture in this uh, we have different layers okay but if you will learn about the docker architecture so we will also discuss about, about the virtualization like if you are aware of virtualization then it is very easy for you to understand this otherwise also if you don't know about virtualization concept then and also it's fine okay so you can get it easily okay so uh, let's start with the layers okay or the architecture so the very first layer or the very bottom up layer we get is the hardware layer okay so this one is the first is the hardware okay and the next we get is the host OS okay so above our hardware we get the host operating system so this is the just basic okay everyone knows about it so in hardware what do we, we usually we get the RAM we get the hard drives uh, or SSD and we get the CPU and all those things motherboard circuit board all those things okay we get in hardware okay and above hardware uh, we mostly install the operating system usually we install the windows os okay some people install the linux or uh, mac os okay so some people install these os as well okay so now we will talk about uh, first we will talk about only these two or uh, or normal operating system which we have in our pc so currently uh, suppose if you i want to install python okay so i can easily install python in my pc suppose i install python 3.8 so yeah so i can easily install in my this host os okay it's fine to install suppose if I again I want to install some other thing suppose I want to install Java yeah I can install Java suppose it version 8 okay and suppose if I want to install MySQL I can install it easy no it node.js all those things we can install it easy but the problem is there suppose if uh, my if I require uh, like uh, the version 2.8 okay python 2.8 if i require okay python 2.8 is required for some project okay but in my pc there is 3.8 so what i will need to do i will need to uninstall this version and again install this this version it is not possible to run those uh, versions in a single os okay so this is not a case we cannot do it like this so that's why a uh, docker came up uh, okay and um, with the help help of Doc docker we what we can do we can uh, run different versions of a software okay we can run different version of softwares okay in each container so how the uh, like thing works now so uh, above the host operating system we have a docker engine okay so docker engine is basically used to managing the containers which is created okay so here we have the docker engine okay and above this docker engine we have the different containers suppose this one is container one this one is container one this one is container two just suppose two containers for now so this one is container 1 and this one is container 2 in this we have python 2.7 in this we have python uh, just to wait a minute we have python 3.8 okay and this one is computer 1 okay so in this way the basic architecture of the docker works so docker engine is basically responsible for sorry it is responsible for managing the i just write it here for man a 
managing the containers okay so all those things are managed by the docker engine okay i hope you got it how this thing works okay the docker engine host os and container one container two so this is the basic architecture of the docker okay now if you talk about the virtualization so in virtualization what happens on in the host os there is the hypervisor and in the hypervisor what happens we use different os okay like uh, in my pc currently i have virtual box okay i use virtual box so if you will see here in my virtual box is one software which I use to run different OS in a single OS. So here you can see I have two OS for now. We I have Kali Linux and the Ubuntu. So these are the two OS which is currently present in my Windows machine. Okay. So the how is the architecture if you will see. Suppose if I just uh, demonstrate you. So suppose the hardware is my this one normal hardware and I have the Windows OS. So above the Windows OS what I have I have one hypervisor. Okay. Not in my machine currently. I'm using virtual box. Okay. And then what I have I have two OS. So here if we see here I have one is Ubuntu and other is that is Kali Linux okay so the thing is and if you will now you will uh, just uh, ask uh, what is the difference between both of them the docker architecture and the normal virtualization architecture so the difference is basically it just uh, like uh, in virtualization what happens here you can see we are installing a new OS okay a new OS so it will what it will it will create like uh, it will use more memory so because of that our boot time will also reduce okay your PC will become slow so that's why instead of using virtual machines or the hypervisor or virtualization you we can use the docker or containers so we can create different containers different number of containers on a single machine okay so this is the just the basic difference suppose in virtualization uh, you have to run python two different version of python so you will install python in this one and python 2.7 in this and python 3.7 in in this os so for those purpose you will need to you are you are installing the two os so that is not a good thing okay and also uh, it will create more load on your host os so that's why docker is mostly preferred instead of virtualization so i hope you got it the basic architecture of docker and the virtual virtual machine not virtual machine virtualization okay so here also i have some basic um, you can see the image i have the container architecture and the virtual machine architecture okay so here you can see the infrastructure that is the same as the uh, what i said this one hardware okay host device is there docker engine is there and here app a app b app c app d so four apps are being run on a single machine and here we, you can see the again the hypervisor is there and the guest os is there and in guest os we are running different apps so this is the basic difference between the docker and the virtualization architecture so that's it for today's guys i hope you liked the video and you got the concept if any query then you can ask in the comment section thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next video thank you